So we built a digital oscilloscope based on PIC32, uh, use a television as output. And this is a little monitor from a, a, little, a little NTSC television monitor. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What you are seeing on screen is a 20 kilohertz sabertooth wave. It's updated in real time. See if I change it to sine wave. There are a few parameters that you can use the knob on the other side to uh, input. Say, if I want to change the Y position, you can do that using potential mm -hmm. Um This is a trigger level. We'll come back to it later. You can change the time scale, the frequency per division, or oh, that mess itself. But mm -hmm. you see, uh, and on the upper bar, you see a uh, status string showing the parameters. That so it says 50 microseconds, now it says 100 microseconds. Okay. Yeah. You can also change the uh, voltage scaling. If you think the peak-to-peak -peak voltage is too low to see clearly, you just um, make a lower voltage per, per division. Mm -hmm. Okay, back to the triggering. Um, on the other side of the screen, there is another arrow. Oh, by um, the way, the, the, the arrow on the left side notes the uh, ground level. Th that arrow down there, and so the arrow over here then is the, the trigger, trigger level. level. Okay. So to see, see more clearly, so if I move the trigger level within the waveform, actually let me change back to the voltage provision, you see a small shape, phase shift, just like right. on a... As you should, you should see a little phase yes. shift, yeah, good. And then if you go outside the range... It just updates the waveform really slowly. So now it's going to sort of auto-trigger mode, and it just tries to do something. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you would clearly see this is definitely not triggered. So if I move my arrow back down here, you see it's updating in real time again. Very nice. And the sample rate 640 kilosamples per second. Yes. Mm-hmm. So at, at uh, at 13 kilohertz, we're looking at there, there's lots of points on each cycle. Yes. Nice. Very pretty. Put it into square wave up there on the on the signal generator. Uh, so if you want to put it in square wave, um, it looks like this. It does not look very good because uh, for every sample, I just put a dot on the screen. But that's, I mean, it looks, it looks like what I expect, right? It's mostly yeah. horizontal lines. Yes. And occasionally you see something in the middle where... It it it's, uh, yeah, it's sampled, <laughs> and but the trigger still works. Mm, yes, let's, let's see. Yeah, it's still working. Mm -hmm. Come here. Good. Okay. Thank you.